Hello, Raymond. Captain Wunsch, good to see you. But if you're here, who's guarding Hades? Huh, meat from the street. Sounds like a fun treat. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know I was rhyming those words, but it happened anyway. It's a great idea, partner. So you're saying that not knowing what your bosses are up to is driving you a little crazy. You've used my logic against me. Well played, Timmy. Well played. Thank you, sir. Look at that. You've helped me find my smile. Hello, detective. Is there a reason you're interrupting me mid-soup? Whoa, you really made the balloon arch. Made? No. I birthed her. Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh, my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. You sick son of a bitch. So who was your partner back when you caught the Brooklyn broiler? Martin Orman Cup. He was a great partner. Smart, loyal, homophobic, but not racist. In those days, that was pretty good. <laughs> I've never been more proud of you for anything in your life. I mean, I've solved a lot of cases for you. And yet, crime has continued. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. Mm. How? Dare you, Detective Diaz. I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Why did you do that? Dude is pent up. Now he knows. Problem solved. <sighs> Vindication! The Cairn Terrier is intelligent and inquisitive with a bold personality. <laughs> a bold personality. We know what that's code for. She's a bitch. Sergeant, I'd like you to meet Richard and Dan. They are puppies. Very cute, sir. Maybe your twins would like some little furry friends. I'm sorry, sir, but that's impossible. With the twins learning how to walk, chaos reigns at the Jeffords household. I can't let those innocent pups into that madhouse. Terry won't do you like that. I understand. Just know, you have disappointed all three of us. That's cold, sir. A few black detectives. Did I ever tell you what my first day on the job was like? Hello, I'm Raymond Holt. Are you here to turn yourself in? It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I'd like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There is a problem at the bank. Hot! Damn! I've been researching ways to raise morale, and I found an interesting article in a scientific journal. Uh oh, was it from the American Journal of No One Cares? According to a recent study, the physical act of smiling can improve your mood. I suggest we give it a shot. Hmm? Now you all try. Big smiles. Bigger, bigger! Great, now we just have to stay like this for the next two hours. Can you feel it? Working? I don't have any enamel on my teeth, so the cold air is excruciating. Maybe if you brushed your teeth once in a while, this wouldn't be a problem. I do brush my teeth. They're decaying from acid reflux. You're birthing yourself. Crikey! You're not Australian, Gina. Get stuffed, you drongo! Guys, seriously, too much exposure to air and they will turn to dust. This isn't working out as well as I'd hoped. Time for the next level. Forced laughing. Jackpot. Let's 
do this. And how am I supposed to get all the way up there? Gracefully. Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! Boosting! And now it's time to send in our cute little secret weapon. I'm ready, Captain. I love the nickname. No, Charles, not you. I was talking about Cheddar. Oh, right, obviously. Over the past month, I've had him trained to retrieve plaques. And now, boy, it's time to make Daddy proud. Yes, sir. I could not have been more clearly talking to the dog. <gasps> sir, I thought you said this was my case. I gave you two weeks. I'm done fending off the organized crime unit. Squad, since Peralta's briefing was cut short, you can all use this time to clean up your desks. Look at this place, half-eaten food, crumpled tissues, pictures of your families. What's wrong with pictures? If you love someone, you'll remember what they look like. You all right, Captain? Tough weekend? I went to Barbados with my husband. We wove hats out of palm fronds and swam with the stingrays. I've never been happier. This guy's impossible to read. Don't even try. That is without question the funniest story I've ever heard. What'd you do? What'd you say? Nothing. We just said, welcome back. And laughed with him about all the weight he gained in France. <laughs> Why is everyone just standing around? Get back to work. So long, Tank. Tank! I gained three pounds in Paris. Three pounds! Sarge, that painting is tight. It's terrible. The brushwork is sloppy. It's poor use of negative space. I'm a fraud. Not at all. I'd like to take this home for my husband. He'll be glad you made me look so happy. Rise and shine, detectives, rise and shine. Peralta, I want you to bring everyone up to speed. You slept in your office and you look exactly the same. How? What are you talking about? My hair is a mess. Oh, yeah. Hey, Captain. Mind if we sit? Is everything okay? Nothing's okay. Wunch circling me like a shark frenzied by chum. The task force turning into a career-threatening quagmire. An internal affairs investigation casting doubt upon my integrity. And you ask, is everything okay? I am buffeted by the winds of my foe's enmity and cast about by the towering waves of cruel fate. Yet I, a captain, am no longer able to command my vessel, my precinct from my customary helm, my office. And you ask, is everything okay? I've worked the better part of my years on Earth, overcoming every prejudice and fighting for the position I hold, and now I feel it being ripped from my grasp. And with it, the very essence of what defines me as a man. And you ask, is everything okay?